Today's crash gained a lot of attention because flying has become so common and most of us would never expect something like this. One man in Austin, who you might not expect, knows the dangers of flying. Before becoming the mayor of Austin, Lee Leffingwell was a Navy pilot and a long-haul pilot for Delta. KXAN's David Scott spoke with the mayor for his unique perspective. From his second floor perch, the only unfriendly fire Mayor Lee Leffingwell gets these days is from press and politicians. But he remembers those worrisome times as a Navy pilot in Vietnam and flying some pretty unfriendly skies for Delta. Leffingwell knew he was in danger during Vietnam, but he sensed danger on routes over tough territory for Delta over India and Mumbai, Afghanistan and the old Soviet Union, including Ukraine. I remember uh, feeling a bit, a bit uneasy at the time. It was kind of uh, uh, fresh, uh, a new thing to be uh, certainly flying over. I mean, we're, we're not in a U-2 after all. We're, we're in an airline, a, a Boeing 767 with a whole bunch of people on there. With new mobile surface-to-air missiles that can fly farther and higher than ever with upgraded accuracy, the mayor believes this could pose a danger to flights, not just over war zones. We need to find out more about it. We need to find out more about the potential that these weapons might have and uh, 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 see we'll go from there. I, I certainly don't want everybody to go out and cancel all the airline tickets. Leffingwell says it may be time for commercial air carriers to consider new defensive systems that could repel or fool incoming enemy fire. David Scott, KXAN News. By all means, this is not your typical airplane crash creating unique circumstances, but it's not unprecedented since September 11th, 1983. That's when a Korean Airlines jet flying from New York City to Seoul drifted into Soviet airspace. Because they did not know what kind of aircraft it was, Soviet fighter jets scrambled and shut down that jet. 296 people were killed. Five years later, Americans made a similar mistake when the U.S. Navy shot down what they thought was an Iranian military jet over the Persian Gulf. Instead, it was a passenger aircraft and 290 people died.